On October 24, 1946, within the confines of Prague Prison, Kurt DeLuga, a notorious war criminal from World War II, stood on the precipice of his final moments as he faced the impending execution. Born on September 15, 1897, DeLuga's early life saw his enlistment in the Prussian Army, where he served with distinction in World War I, ascending through the ranks. Dissatisfied with post-war Germany, he delved into various political groups before officially aligning himself with the Nazi party in 1923. Ascending the Nazi hierarchy, DeLuga became a prominent figure in SA detachments, eventually leading the SA in Berlin. His transition to the SS marked a crucial juncture, where he played a pivotal role in defending Nazi headquarters during the Night of the Long Knives. Heinrich Himmler's appointment of DeLuga as chief of the order police marked a significant chapter, placing him in charge of overseeing uniformed officers. This role bestowed upon him control over approximately 120,000 police officers during the tumultuous years of World War II. DeLuga's involvement in heinous war crimes became glaringly evident as he witnessed mass shootings of Jews in Poland and Belarus. He orchestrated large-scale deportations, affixing his signature to orders for the establishment of concentration camps and ghettos. Further, assuming the role of Deputy Protector of Bohemia and Moravia, he ordered brutal reprisals following the assassination of Reinhard Heydrich. As World War II drew to a close, DeLuga faced a personal crisis, suffering a debilitating heart attack in May 1943. Although he recovered, Hitler, in a move to distance himself from the impending Allied occupation, relieved DeLuga of his duties. Subsequently, British forces arrested him after the war's conclusion. The trial that ensued was a reckoning for DeLuga accused of crimes against humanity. His defense maintained an air of ignorance, claiming to merely follow orders from Hitler. Regardless, the verdict was swift and damning, a death sentence. On October 25, 1946, within the confines of Prague Prison Courtyard, the executioner's hand sealed De Luga's fate as he faced the gallows. In the aftermath of World War II, Kurt De Luga, a figure synonymous with brutality and heinous acts, met his demise. His legacy, tainted by the atrocities he orchestrated, serves as a chilling reminder of the darkest chapters in history. As we reflect on this somber tale, we extend our gratitude to you, our audience. Your support is invaluable, and we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.